Direct to Science. A podcast by NAVA, the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange. Plan your future, organize your life, shape your fate. These are not just cheap slogans a rising company would put in an online ad. No need to explain that mapping out your career still matters. It depends mostly on your decisions. The best next step I can take to reach my future goals. Have a listen now to a podcast about one such life-changing experience, the Banach Nava Scholarship Program. It gives an opportunity to study at a chosen university in Poland, a country located in the heart of Europe. Yeah, except of course for the winter, it's a bit cold. Throughout the podcast, you will hear the voices of four beneficiaries. Nur from Tunisia. We are provided with a lot of support in here. Innocent from Tanzania. Oh man, I could I could go on like on and on and on, but it's it's really been opportunities after opportunities, privileges after privileges. Asya and Zera from Kazakhstan. Banach Nava program helps me to grow as an individual. It's great. Yeah, I love Polish people. They will be accompanied by Dr. David Kostetsky, Director General at NAVA, the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange. I'm John Beecham and welcome to the podcast. The story seems to be obvious, almost banal. You want to study abroad, so you go out and look for the best offer. Asia, who is going to write her master's thesis at the University of Silesia in southern Poland, has come here as a Banach scholarship holder with a very precise plan. My faculty is international law, and now I'm studying more about European uh, law and international law as like public international law, and it will be great for me to use all of this knowledge in my country. Poland has a variety of programs and workshops in English across its universities. And I'm really happy to be a part of academic community in Silesian University. And my aspiration was to explore international business law and arbitration with a purpose of becoming an arbitrator and politician in my country. And the Banach Scholarship is providing an opportunity for me to get specialized knowledge and skills in these areas. And I'm really grateful for the chance that Banach Scholarship is giving me now. And I highly recommend students to apply for Banach Scholarship of NAVA Agency. And I would like to say, apply, come and explore. Asya is one of 1,000 fellows who has been awarded this scholarship since 2021. Its patron, Stefan Banach, was a prominent and renowned Polish mathematician specializing in functional analysis. Last year, more than 3,500 applications were sent from more than 30 countries, ranging from Albania to Vietnam. The program is a joint initiative of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange. It took the form of Polish development aid, says Dr. David Kostetsky, Director General at NAVA. We would like to support, to corroborate the developing countries. And now in the next edition of Banach NAVA program, we've got uh, 45 countries and we are trying to do our best to define the best applicants and According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the representatives of STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and maths, are the best address group as far as students are concerned to give the new power, to give the new stimulus, to build the bilateral cooperation between developing countries and developed countries like Poland. Because, of course, some years ago, we used to be developing countries. And we have to understand such situation. Therefore, probably this decision was taken. But I would like to strongly emphasize the fact that we have broadened this program. In addition, scholarship holders don't have to pay tuition fees at public universities and receive a monthly NAVA stipend of approximately 350 euro to cover daily expenses during their stay in Poland.
My name is Innocent Trasas Novat. I am 26 from Tanzania in East Africa. And I have a background in engineering and uh, had the privilege to practice for two years before coming across this opportunity in Poland. I came here in the end of 2022. So it's been one year here in Poland. And I have now transitioned from engineering to data science and IT. And I'm in my final year at Maria Curie Skłodowska University. Maria Curie Skłodowska University has become Innocent's alma mater. What made him come to Poland and particularly to Lublin? So to Poland, it was the scholarship, but specifically to Maria Curie Skłodowska University in Lublin, it was, should I say, the great hospitality I experienced from the university staff because when you want to make a decision of where you want to go to study, you know, especially if it's a new environment, you have so many questions about the life there, how things work. So I tried reaching out to so many universities and UMCS was really not on the top of my list because even I had some bigger universities, big names. But to my surprise, UMCS was the one that was always providing information. They were so close to me. They never said my questions were silly. They were open to answer all of my questions, provided me all the information, what to do, how to get the documents done. They connected me with some students who are already here. Some of them were actually from my country. So I could actually ask some questions in Swahili, you know, and just about life, you know, and some things I would not ask the university people. So, yeah, about coming to Lublin, that's, that's how I landed here. Before Innocent arrived in Lublin, he must have decided that he would like to apply for the Nava Banach Scholarship. How does he recall that moment? I've always aspired to further my studies, and I have been on the outlook on various scholarships from all across the globe. The story is, I learned about the scholarship when I had only two and a half weeks left to finish my application. So you could imagine that. I was a bit undecided. Should I start the journey? Because I know the application process was usually tedious and lots of documents. You need to reach out to professors for references and all that. But I don't know what happened. Usually when I think about it, I'm also surprised how I was able to manage. But I attempted. I applied, reached out to professors from my previous university and they were willing to help and I'm really grateful because you don't reach to someone on a short notice and still expect them to give out their time to do this, but they did and I'm grateful for that. And I remember on the 30th of March, 2022, I submitted my application. Really, it was just one day to the deadline, but I was able to submit my application and after that, all I did basically was just pray and keep my fingers crossed. And life happened, a lot happened, completely forgot about it until one day, I remember it was July 6th, if I'm not mistaken, I got the good news. Yeah, so that was pretty much the, the experience. It's interesting how Innocent convinced the board that he should receive the scholarship. I would say I poured my entire heart out. We are usually skeptical, you know, when it comes to what should I include and what should I omit. But for some reasons, I had a sit with my supervisor, the lecturer, who was also going to recommend me. And one thing we agreed on was we would put everything as much as we can, be it the extracurricular activities, be it my involvement in things that does not relate to the didactic or the academic, like everything, you know, my involvement in sports, my involvement in music, my volunteering, you know, I compiled all of these things together and really just spoke about myself entirely, you know. So I did not limit myself to anything. I just left it to the NAVA to decide whether this was important for the application or not. But I really just told my entire story in the in the application. So part of it, I do understand it would be not just someone come here, stay in class, study, go back to your country, it's over, but also to have a privilege 
to share what you bring and also appreciate what you would find here in Poland. So I think that extracurricular activity that I included also gave them the impression that I wouldn't just come here, study and go home. I would also be able to experience the life here and appreciate it because I have also been active, you know, in the same when I was back in my country. So I think uh, these three aspects were like competitive edge for me. My name is Zerimi Deova. I'm from Kazakhstan. She has decided to graduate from Global Change Biology at the Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torun, also known as UMK or the NCU. I'm pursuing my master's degree. It's my first year. Uh, my journey to this point has not been without its challenges. I've always dreamed about a quality education and international environment. And from first year of bachelor degree, I was trying to apply for many, many different exchange programs and universities. As at this point, we had a pandemic situation, and in my family, only my mom worked at this time, so it couldn't possible to do it. But afterwards, the situation could repeat it, but on the 1st of September, I've got a message from Banach Nava that I'm awarded by scholarship program, and I started to apply for universities, and one of the best choice and one of the best research university was Nicolas Copernicus University in Torun, and I felt in love, first of all, with the city, as I like natural spot and environment here and historical places. Torun has a lot of historical places. So I decided to choose this university for my master's degree. When it comes to the requirements, Zere says it took some time to meet all the conditions of the Banach Scholarship Programme. It was a lot of paperwork, as I remember. After pushing scholarship, I remember that I had a lot of paperwork with the university because we have to send our diplomas from bachelor degree, our certificate of language, apostle of the diploma, passport, we had to apply for the visa. So it was a lot of paperwork to get to the Torun. And of course we were late. I was late for two weeks. So yeah, that's a big journey <laughs> to get there. Zara admits that the opportunities have become infinite. Banach Nava opened me world to the Yumka and Yumka opens me door to the world. We have a lot of exchange programs here. The program which I'm studying on, it has a joint degree, double degree program. On the second year of my master, I will go to Naples University in Italy and I can pursue a double degree program. And also we have a lot of features like Erasmus+, Plus, UF, exchange semester programs. So I would say that Banach Nava program helps me to grow as an individual. What is also important is that Zera began to feel at home in Torun. Every people I met in campus or wherever, they are so welcoming. They try to help whatever you have, like to get a PISL number, to get some paperwork and in dormitory. I have a lot of Neighbors, we always met in the kitchen, cook dinner and always talk. Yeah, there is a good environment here with international backgrounds and different backgrounds from everywhere. I felt in love first time when I came to Poland. I felt in love with the Torun. It's like when if you want to go and like get more cultural experience, you can just come to Old Town, to the... Castle, and then if you want a, some natural spot, like I, I like to be in natural spot. There is nearby to your dorm. There is a woods to your campus, university to your faculty, and this road is amazing. And whenever you go, you can find a natural spot to be. So there is a lot of benefits to live in Torun and study in Yonka. Banach scholarship holders are mostly students who look for more educational, academic and professional opportunities. It sometimes happens that they find out there is such a program quite unexpectedly, thanks to incidental personal contacts. 
My story is not so much different from Zara's story. Um, my name is Nur Huda Gergudi, and I come from Tunisia. During my bachelor's degree, I as well was looking for opportunities to be able to study abroad, specifically in Europe, since it is not as far from my country, and also a lot of countries in Europe have a really good educational system. It's a funny story how I actually found out about the NAVA scholarship and how I applied for it. I was actually once in an exchange program in Romania with Erasmus+, Plus, and there was this one guy from Chad, that his name was Musa, and I only met Musa twice in the laundry room in Romania. The first time was when I told him that I wanted to pursue my master's study in uh, Europe, and the second time was when he told me about the NAVA scholarship. Applying for me was not as hard, since at some point you get used to the process. The requirements are basically an English certificate, transcripts of records, valid passport, of course. It's actually a pretty simple process applying with NAVA. Nur was waiting for her results all summer last year. And the last thing she would tell now is that she might regret it. I was looking at the benefits, at the decision of NAVA, and I was thinking, okay, um, but will I be able to survive in Poland? And why will I go to Poland? And I was really considering other scholarships that I got. During this process, asking people, asking my friends that were already living in Europe and studying in Europe, I made the decision to accept the NAVA scholarship. It was the best decision I made. So far, I feel really, really happy to be in Poland and more specifically in NCU. We are provided with a lot of support in here. As international students, everyone is always uh, really welcoming. Also the diploma, it's a double degree from NCU and it's one of the best also in the field as far as I've seen. And as a future researcher, I think like, uh, the educational system in NCU specifically is the best next step I can take to reach my future goals, which are to be a researcher and to have my own company in knowledge transfer. Noor plans to carry out research in food and agriculture sciences. I actually had my bachelor in food science and technology, specializing in health and nutrition. And I feel like if I did take the master's in food science, I would be limiting myself. And after deciding where I was going to go, after getting the, accepting the NAVA scholarship, I was in between going to study master's in food science and master's in global change biology. And after taking a closer look and talking with more people from both programs, I decided to take this program in biology because it opens your your mind scientifically to a lot of different paths. And I think with my bachelor and this master, I would have a very unique vision that would allow me to succeed as a PhD student or in the future as a researcher. And my ultimate goal, after all, in my vision in life is to help uh, develop technologies to make the earth more sustainable for the future generations. This is why she would like to change it, or at least to change our approach to the problem. It is always changing and evolving, not necessarily in a good way, of course. The most important problem we or issue we must mention nowadays is deforestation and using more and more landscape for agricultural production, which is not always a good case because if you think about it, statistically and scientifically speaking, the food we are producing nowadays is quite enough for all the human beings on Earth, but the problem is in the consumption. People are not consuming how they should consume. They are consuming more or they are just buying in and food goes to waste. Wasted food percentage is getting higher. More agricultural production also is getting higher. More gas emission, um, climate change, uh, etc., which is very, very harmful. That is why the most important thing to work on in the food industry related to biology change is to work on um, not using more landscape for agriculture and optimizing the use of the landscape that we are already using for food production. I actually got this vision from my father. He is himself a professor in my country, and I chose this field by passion, and I hope I will be always passionate about this. It's also knowing uh, the principles of sustainable development goals that also opened my mind more and more. And I also volunteered with WWF, 
which also made me realize, oh my God, we need to do something about it. The benefits and profits that the Banach Nava scholarship gives to its holder are uncountable, Innocent says. I have made some connections back in my country that I wouldn't have. I have met some people both in the academic space. For example, through the application process, I met Dr. Konrad Chernihovsky, who is a professor and is both teaching in Poland and in Tanzania at the same time. And you wouldn't believe it, he speaks fluent Swahili. Then coming to Poland, I have joined the student government in my university. I have won director scholarship at my university. And uh, I have been involved in cultural activities. One that I would mention is I went to a primary school one time. I presented about Tanzania. And I found out that there were students that actually went to Tanzania. So I also made friends here. And also, oh man, I could, I could go on like on and on and on. But it's, it's really been opportunities after opportunities privileges after privileges and I still have one year to go so I am excited about what 2024 would also bring yeah but it's it's been quite exciting so far. One of these opportunities refers to student life in Lublin. It means mostly cultural encounters. I would also say I was lucky one more time because in this year Lublin also became the European youth capital so student life has been amazing. We have had so many activities with the Lublin City Council office. And so there has been so many indoor and outdoor activities. Summer was great. The temperature got really hot and I felt like I was back home. And also I'm a huge uh, fan of music. And fortunately for my university, they have this place called Hatkajaka, which is a center just for cultural arts, music, stage and theater arts drama and everything and I have sung a solo on stage once. I have backed some musicians by playing I think the piano twice and drums once. We have hosted concerts here. Also I found a local church in Lublin that is for international students and I was privileged to be part of the band so it's really been exciting. Yeah. Except, of course, for the winter, it's a bit cold. But, yeah, everything else, buzz adoption, like, perfect. Yeah. Innocent also underlines the superiority of the Banach Nava Scholarship Program to other programs in Southern and Eastern Europe. I have applied to Turkey. I have applied to Romania, also Hungary. And then I applied to Poland as well. Now, if I compare these countries... Really, the package that is offered by Stefan Banach Scholarship is really good in this aspect. First and foremost, a student in Poland has a privilege of getting his professional career journey started as soon as they finish their studies here. They are not obliged to immediately go back home. I think that is a plus because for many of us, we really appreciate it if we can study but also we can get a chance to practice professionally before we go back home. That way we go home both with the knowledge, but also with the professional input that we can bring back home to our countries. Other scholarships don't provide that. As soon as your study is over, you need to go back to country. So for me, this was a huge plus. As Innocent ensures, his future is exciting. I will tell you this, I didn't know that Poland is a global IT hub until I came here. So I was excited. So I would say, of course, I did my due diligence to know about the universities and everything. But it didn't come to my mind that Poland is a global IT hub until I came here. And then I found out that both, first of all, Lublin also is a global IT hub on its own, and Poland generally is also a global IT hub. And it is exciting that over the space of two years, I think since 2022, Poland has opened up to more international companies. So 
with studying data science in Lublin and generally in Poland, I think it was the best thing I could ever do. And I really see that the future is exciting. I can see myself uh, graduating, hopefully with honors, God willing, and then finding a position in one of these companies and practicing. The future is bright and I really see my, myself getting involved also in the professional space, hopefully right in Poland. I am also studying Polish right now, so move up to school, but slowly I am improving and yeah, I really see myself becoming part of the community here and I am open to a promising future before I get to go back home. Asia's future also seems to be bright. It's great for me to be like a politician, for example, to conclude contracts maybe with international companies or even to resolve some problems between the countries. For more information, please visit nawa.gov.pl slash en. I'm John Beecham and many thanks for listening. This was a podcast by NAVA, the Polish National Agency for Academic Exchange, direct to science. It was produced by Free Range Productions.